Hi, I'm Yamini Reddy and I'm here to talk to you about dance. Dance is such an integral part of our existence. Often you will find yourself tapping your feet or swaying your body to rhythmic patterns and melodious notes. We all love to go to parties, concerts and occasions where there is music playing and we like to break out into a frenzy of movement and dance ourselves into a state of bliss. Even little children who can barely walk, you will find themselves jumping around and moving to the sound of music. Let me tell you a little bit about myself as a little girl. When I was little, I was crazy about dancing. All I wanted to do all the time was dance, dance, dance. When my parents used to be rehearsing, I would be prancing around them in the studio and uh, would follow them to all their performances and concerts. I wanted to go on stage and perform like them. To amuse me, they got a tiny costume stage for me and would dress me up and take me along and make me sit in the green room. Of course, they had no intention of calling me on stage, but I expected to go on stage nonetheless. On one such occasion, while I was waiting and waiting in the green room, I got really upset and I decided to take it upon myself to go and dance on stage. So I ran out and in the middle of my father's performance, I demanded to perform myself. The audience was so amused, they let me dance and that is how I came to give my first performance at the age of three. I was crazy about dancing. So what is this passion of dance that we have in us? What prompts us to dance? Yes, dance gives us physical fitness. It gives us emotional stability and mental clarity. But these are obvious answers. So I wanted to know more about why we dance. I decided to ask a few of my students why they dance and what ignites this spark within them to dance. And this is what I learned. Dance has this ability to transport you into a whole different world, being an escape from the chaos of everyday life. It gives me the freedom to express myself in ways I cannot whilst I'm at work or at home. It has helped me and many others lift their spirits especially in these unprecedented times. The social side of meeting new people and learning new things is part of the fun. It brings people together, giving a sense of community and creating genuine relationships to sharing the passion of dance. Dance has helped me develop self-confidence. It has helped me develop self-belief. It has made me disciplined and it has helped me develop determination and it has helped me appreciate all of God's creation and the various movements like the swaying of the trees and the waves in the ocean. These remind me of the fluidity and the movements of dance. It has helped me conduct myself with dignity. It's, it's a kind of energy that comes out um, that no other activity during the day can bring it out of your system and that energy when it comes out it makes your body strong move in um, uh, grace and also makes you feel alive that whole feeling itself uh, kind of connects to my inner soul and you know I really feel uh, excited and energetic about it and it just lasts like for maybe a 10-15 seconds or something but that actually drives me to dance well, I dance to ease out my emotions or, you know, to celebrate them. It's a fact that I can't control my happiness, sadness, excitement or whatever emotion it may be. So with dance, I ease it out or just celebrate them. Thank you. From the very beginning of time, we have danced. We dance to express our inner self, to communicate to worship, to celebrate, to mourn, and so on. Dance became this wonderful tool which we used to express ourselves beyond the limit of words. With all the movement of our limbs, 
we try to influence or banish the spirits and the anguish of our own soul. We have probably danced from the beginning of our existence to the sounds of nature. We danced to express ourselves when words were not sufficient. We danced to be happy. We danced when we were angry. We danced when we were sad. Even a five-month-old baby moves to rhythmic patterns and melodious sounds. Let me tell you the story of dance. Long, long, long back, many centuries back, there was a lot of turmoil on earth. So all the gods went to Lord Brahma and asked him to create something which could be seen and felt by everyone irrespective of their caste or creed. Lord Brahma decided to create a fifth Veda. We all know that there are four Vedas already existing. So Lord Brahma created a fifth Veda known as the Natya Veda. This Natya Veda he handed over to Bharata Muni and asked him to spread across the earth to teach the people. Now before going to earth, Bharata Muni went to Lord Shiva and Goddess Parvati. He performed a small dance drama before them and when Lord Shiva and Parvati witnessed this dance drama, they felt that there was something missing. That is when Lord Shiva taught Bharata Muni Tandavam and Goddess Parvati Lasyam, which made this Natya Veda into a complete dance. After that, Bharata Muni came down to earth along with his hundred sons and disciples and spread across all over to teach dance to the people. Due to their uh, regional differences on earth, dance acquired different styles in different parts. In India itself, currently we have eight dance styles. In the northern India, we have Kathak. If you move to the east a little bit, we find we have Kshatriya from Assam and Manipuri from Manipur. Coming a little further down, we have Orissi from Orissa. Then we have Kuchipudi, which belongs to both now Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. Going a little further down, we have Bharatanatyam from Tamil Nadu. And finally, in Kerala, we have two dance styles of Mohini Attam and Kathakali. So this is how dance came into existence. And this is how dance continues to spark the life within us. So why is dance so pleasurable? According to Scientific America, when we dance, it activates the cortex of the brain, which is the central processing unit. Studies have shown that sensory experiences are motor experiences, which makes music and dance the most pleasurable activators of the sensory and motor circuit. So whether you are dancing yourself or you're watching somebody else dance, it becomes the epitome of pleasure. Dance is humankind's gift. We are probably the only species on the planet that recognizes a rhythmic pattern and attributes a set of choreographed movements to it. Shiva, the cosmic dancer, Nataraja, the lord of dance, is the embodiment of eternal energy in its five aspects creation preservation destruction aspiration and divine grace so whether you dance as a hobby professionally or just for pleasure dance and music have the power to ignite the spark within us
But dance not only ignites the spark within us, it also helps us connect to communities and helps bring change in society. Let me tell you about Kuchpuri dance and how it derived its name. Kuchpuri derives its name from a small village called Kuchpuri in the Krishna district of Andhra Pradesh. This dance style was originally performed only by Brahmin boys who used to undertake both male and female roles and youth would go from village to village performing dance dramas. On one such occasion, these Brahmin boys while they were traveling, they witnessed the atrocities by the local authorities on the people of a village. They decided to adapt this into a dance drama and presented it before the Nawab of Golconda, Abul Hasan Tanisha. Abul Hasan Tanisha was so impressed by their performance, he punished those authorities and decided to gift 600 acres of land to the Brahmin boys near the Krishna district or the Krishna river in the Krishna district of Andhra Pradesh. This village came to be known as Kuchipuri or Kuchelapuram and that's where Kuchipuri derives its name from. Through this, you can clearly see that dance was meant not only for education and entertainment, but also for social reform. Every culture has a story to tell and the way we tell it is unique. Storytelling has been used to preserve culture, to instill values, to educate and to entertain. Throughout history, dance has proven to be a powerful tool to pass down rituals and traditions throughout the generations. When we go abroad as tourists, students or professionals, what sets us apart is our culture. Our food, music, dance, clothing is what gives us our identity in a globalizing world. These are, in fact, our country's soft power, which are highly respected and sought after across the world. They emerge from our ancient civilization, within which our dance is deeply rooted. Dance is a powerful instrument of communication and means of cultural integration in a nation. Its unique capacity to combine ancient ideologies and traditions with modern aspirations and trends helps people and nations transition smoothly, simultaneously equipping them for aesthetic, social, spiritual and other functions.